Now Sony. Yes. Sony, uh, Sony through the just they. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I. Wow. Yeah. Such, I agreed. What a conference, man! An amazing conference. What a conference! Uh, just game after game after game. I felt I felt as if I was in a movie theater, just watching the, the trailers, trailers before yeah. the movie, just one after another after another. But of new things, of some unknown things. Yes. And games. Yeah. That a new trailer. Games Tra- and trailers surprises. That I seen before. And tra- exactly. Yeah. So. They 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 had this orchestra playing. Yeah, which, that's always so. That's always a powerful thing to do, right? And they, it was building up to something. Yeah. And then the demo started, and it was God of War. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, yes. I'm not a fan of God of War. I haven't even played the game. <laughs> First but three, yeah. seeing that, I was like, yes, yes, I want that. I want to play Me that. Me too. I agree. That was that was so so nice. Then then uh, Sean Layden came on stage, and just. Get just a few a few quick words and that's gone with the show. Yep. Days gone. But new IP, new IP. That's yeah. always interesting. Interesting. I told then, you I thought this was when I first saw it. I thought the Last of yeah, Us me too. too. Yeah, I, me too. That was like wow. But no, no it's, it's it was a different new, thing. New IP from Sony Band. Yeah. Then the Last Guardian, which a lot of people looking forward to, yeah. and with the the orchestra still playing, that yeah. was so powerful. Then. Horizon Zero Dawn gameplay demo looks so impressive, so good, so nice. It's just give it already. Horizon Zero Dawn, it's it's game of the show for One of the people. most impressive games I've Absolutely. seen in a very long while. Absolutely. Then uh, we saw a trailer for Detroit Become Human. Yeah. The game from Quantic uh, Dream. Dream. Yeah. Uh, the game from uh, David Cage, I think is the dude's name. The developers behind um, Heavy behind Rain, Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, Souls yeah. looks very nice. Some showcase the ability nice. for decisions, yeah. decisions making. I really have something for those types yeah, of games, like very heavy on decision making and different outcomes. And yeah, yeah this is exactly that. I'm Absolutely. very interested about uh, on this. So up to this point, it was game for game after yeah. game after yeah, yeah, game, yeah, 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 yeah. and then they showed the a trailer for a horror game, yeah. a survival horror game, and it was like first person, so it was Outlast. Two or maybe a maybe. new indie title. Yeah, very what, much what in the line of PT, right? Exactly. Uh, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's creepy, it's creepy. Then it it starts to some music and a few cuts, camera cuts, some yeah. tra- some glimpses of a lot of stuff with music, b- uh, very much to a Silent Hill kind of vibe. Yeah, very much. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then it jumped back to an image of a house, and then V I I, and I was like, yeah. okay, V I, what is that? And then the letters for Resident Evil pop up <laughs> yeah. top of that. <laughs> That's a very and clever I, thing of revealing it. I, it being honest, <laughs> I kind of scream a bit. I was like, what? Yeah. What? Yes. And I jump. I, I, I was just laying back on my chair and I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I agree. I uh, Really. Totally with, there with you. That's a huge turnaround for Resident Evil. That's a huge... Absolutely! Wow. wow, much, much deserved. Much, it, it's time coming for something like this to be exactly. Resident Evil again. Even, even, even if you're, it, it, maybe you're a fan of Resident Evil, and maybe you don't agree with this new direction, or it's just too big of a of a of a turnaround for the franchise. You gotta be. Um, I mean, being honest, they caught everyone's attention with that. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Yeah, I absolutely. That's, I'd rather have that than Resident Evil Six again. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, super, super yeah. Cool. If you're a fan of the series, then you have to be a fan of the very first Resident Evils, which yeah. were much more in the line of horror, horror, in the line of terror, in the line you're of right. you know these thrillers. Uh, five and six uh, are more, much yeah. more action games than they are mm-hmm. zombie and, and horror six, games. Six, I play uh, six. I only played the demo, and it bored me. Yeah, the demo, and that was that's yeah. a bad sign, definitely. Yeah. And this one looks cool. And then they had a, a message that said, "The play the teaser, play the demo now on PSN." Oh right, yeah. Now tonight. Did you play it or? Yes, I did play it. Nice. And I, I I'd like to talk about that on the next episode of the okay. show because uh, we don't have time, right, time. at all. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I did play it, and let me tell you, it's freaking creepy. That's great. And that's awesome. That's that's super 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 nice. I'm, I'm excited. PSVR coming October 13, 2016 for 399. Yeah. So now we have a exact date. Date. Okay. And they 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 went for some VR stuff. They had a first person shooter exploration. It's, it's, it's sort of a shooter called Farpoint. Farpoint, yeah. Which in my opinion looks very very nice. Yeah. I like how it looked. Then they have an X Wing VR mission for Battlefront. Hmm. Batman Arkham VR. Which is interesting. From Rocksteady. Yeah. And we didn't see anything. Just a uh, mask. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the only thing that's you know worth mentioning of that trailer was that 
it was uh, Mark Hamill voice yeah. as the Joker, as the Joker, which was you know narrating and yeah. saying things about the trailer. Uh, that really got me pumped up. Rocksteady, man. Rocksteady. And Rocksteady, of course, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Then uh, Final Fantasy 15 VR experience, which in my opinion looked terrible, looked absolutely horrendous. Mm, yeah, absolutely. It looked absolutely awful. It, it shouldn't. Awful. I, I don't think why is that a VR, but mm -hmm. eh, whatever. Yeah. The other the other things, the Final Point especially for me, looked very very nice. Yeah. And 50 games being are gonna be launching on PS on PSVR from October 13 mm, yeah. to the end of the year. 50 games, I think it's a good it's number. It's a good number, yeah. It's a good number. Absolutely. Oh, and also forgot to mention, Resident Evil 7 is going to be playable on in v its entirety yeah, on in VR, VR when yeah. it launches on January next year. That's very, very interesting. I'm out. I, I don't want to try. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't have the guts to do that. Um, no. Nope. But nope. It's very cool to have, though. Yeah. It's... But not to play, just have it. <laughs> not playing it. So then they showed... The, I think it was a highlight for many people. Uh, they you skipped showed... though. You skipped the one important one there. Which one? Uh, the franchise revival. The the one franchise coming back. Oh, that's later. That's after that. That was afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they they talk they they showed a gameplay trailer, a gameplay demo. Yes. That impressed a lot of us. Yeah. From a franchise that nobody expected anything to. Yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty Infinite Warfare had the most impressive gameplay demo on stage. I've ever seen. It looks so, so fun, yeah. so nice, so new, so impressive, different, yeah. so different. And I was watching it, and I, I was like, "What is this? What is yeah, it?" Yeah, me too. It looks so nice, so cool. But the speech is, is yeah. Wow. That point, the 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 when he comes on this bridge, and everyone, hey, hi, come, captain, whatever. And then he goes to his ship, and you start, you know, accelerating forward yeah. into space. I thought it was, like, I was like, wow, what is this? Is game. this Star Citizen? Is this yeah. what's what game is this? And I'm, at some point, I think we both have the same point, right? When they are going off the ship into like they, it goes they, into first they, person. Yeah, when they start shooting, yes. I was like, oh shit, this is Call this of Call of Duty? Duty? Yeah, because <laughs> Call of Duty <laughs> yes. shooting is it's so. So distinct. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, this is Call of Duty. But <laughs> when, the, when you're on the ship and when you're on the ship shooting at the right, team, yeah, and on, on, on the track of another ship and just shooting between all of these mess, I was like, whoa, yeah, whoa, this looks so cool. And then and then when they when he gets out of the ship and begins shooting, oh, oh, it's a Call of Duty, but it looks so good. Yeah, just using this grapple and just walking on on the bridge on the middle of space and just shooting dudes. Wow! Yes, that looks so nice, so cool, and I'm looking forward to I'm, that. I'm on board. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Let's just wait and see if that's gonna be the whole campaign, or that's just five minutes of the game. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And I hope that the dogfight, it's not a scripted event. Like yeah. I want that to be a to playable. Be a playable yeah, thing like you can, you can be... actually fly your ship yeah. around and, and shoot and yeah. pick targets L and all let's that. Let's wait for reviews and stuff for that game. But meanwhile, they got my attention yeah. definitely. Absolutely. And after the demo, they got as we predicted. I don't I don't know if you did as well, but I I, I remember I did. Crash coming back. Oh yeah, yes. I predict Crash coming back, and it's happening. Yeah, I had Spyro coming back. Not a new game, but remasters. Yeah. From mm -hmm. the, I I don't know what they mean with remasters or remakes, whatever. From the ground up, they yeah. did say that. Sean mm -hmm. did say that. Crash one, two, and Warp, the first trilogy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of Crash, that the, the the first three games of of the Crash series <coughs> are coming to the PS4, yeah. which are great remastered games. or remade. I don't know yeah. from the mm -hmm. ground up. I'm on board with that. Yeah. I know many people expected a new games, new, a new game in the series. In that, you're yeah. in that mm -hmm. camp, but that also I mean, remasters or nothing, remasters. Right? That's right. Yeah. Right. Very and, and, and I think, and I do think that if they do well, that sets a precedent for a new game. Absolutely. New game. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm on board with that, and I, I like that, and I, and I, I was, I was very happy with the thing. Lego Star Wars: The Force Awakens looks cool. It's, uh, it's, it's a Lego game. It's a Lego game. There are a lot of those, yeah, I, but also I know there are good games. They're fair. They're decent games. And Star Wars. It's Star Wars. Right? That that was the the thing with. I mean, I I've heard. I haven't played them. I haven't played any. I think no, any of the Lego games of any any franchise. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know that you know the general consensus on them is that they're very good. Yeah. But I saw this, and I saw the you know the the, the glimpses of gameplay that they showed, and I I felt. 
like it was Star Wars, but they took all the magic out of it really? in some way. I I felt like they made a disservice with yeah really? with okay. with what they showed at least. I didn't quite like it. I I think they they try to force so many comedic moments there that were not necessary and that oh, okay. took yeah. away from you know okay, the okay. actual moments okay. that we we're I portraying. That. So I don't know. I I was not much into it, but I mean yeah. it's yeah. probably not. I'm not probably the audience that they're right. targeting, right? So, I, yeah, Lego's always been more comedic in mm -hmm, many ways. So yeah, that's way for reviews. Maybe it could be a good game. Maybe yeah, it's bad. It's course. coming in a week, more or less. Yeah, yeah, in so June twenty eighth. In a week. Yeah. yeah. So wow, that's coming very very soon. Then, then. <laughs> ooh, yes, my emotional highlight of the entire E3. Right. So Andrew House comes on stage and talks about partnering with the most amazing the creative yeah. minds and he says so let's welcome one of them right and then the curtain opens yeah <laughs> and this big badass music starts playing yeah. what 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 and then you see the kojima production logo and kojima walking down on the stairs of L of L lights of, of uh, yeah <laughs> walking down so Badass. Yeah. And I, yeah, yeah. I was hyperventilated. I was like, well, <laughs> shit, because I'm a big Kojima fan. And that was yeah. so cool. And I was watching that with my dad. We were both super excited about that. We were, oh my God, oh my God. Is this is real. Kojima is on stage at E3 right now. <laughs> yeah. And as he said, I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> People went crazy with that. And I think the idea yes. of having him after what Konami did to him with, uh, with the award, the Game Award the Game last Awards, year, yeah. mm -hmm. and just Sony just letting him giving him the spotlight that he couldn't have on the game awards that was so cool that was yeah, such a that's... for me even it for me even i know it was a pr thing but it was even a nice gesture from sony to do that to kojima giving him the spotlight that he right. deserves and once also yeah that was so cool and then they showed um the trailer for his new project which let's be fair It's just a long way yeah, from being yeah, yeah, even released, even playable. Mm -hmm. But Norman Reedus is back. Yeah. The trailer confirmed. looks so disturbing in many ways, yeah. so symbolic, mm -hmm. so surreal, and I loved every second of it. Right. I love the trailer. Mm. Even if it's even if it's not necessarily a game trailer, it's more of a concept trailer, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's in game in engine, I mean. I'm into that, and I'm excited. Yeah, I don't even know what it is, but I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I, I did mention to you that I'm. I mean, I'm very excited by the prospect of having yeah. Kojima back and having him have the, the spotlight. I think it's a very nice gesture too. Yeah. Uh, about the game, I, I still have to wait and see because yeah. I mean, uh, we know next to nothing about yeah. it other than Rita's being in it, in it, and it being a very you know psychological thing. I wouldn't be, as I told you, surprised at all. To see that they announce uh, Guillermo del Toro, it's involved with it in, in some so. way. Yeah. Uh, cool. And yeah, I want to see more of the game for me to get excited. I yeah. want to be excited about this game, but so far I don't see much uh, to you know to really pump me up. To I, I I still know nothing about the game. I do know that it has potential. Yeah, a, lo a lot of potential. A lot definitely. of potential. Yeah, we're excited for that, and mm -hmm. um, I can't wait to see more of me this too. of this title. Me too. Of this title, not soon, definitely, but. In two, three years, I don't know. Right. It's, it's, it's a nice thing. Spider-Man coming to the PS4. Yeah. It's cool. That's, that's cool. I mean, as a, as a Spider-Man fan, I, cool. I think it's very nice. Uh, I do think that I, I want to wait and see because the last Spider-Man games, you know, the recent Spider-Man yeah. games have been very bad. Mm, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so I want this to be, at least it's Platinum games. So uh, if... They do know how to make their stuff, yeah. and I think it's interesting to see. It's an exclusive Spider-Man game. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, um, I, I think it's awesome. there could be potential, yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's see how they, they do. Yeah. Then Sony goes their conference with what is, in my opinion, a kind of underwhelming demo of Days um, Gone of the new IP. Anti-climatic, yeah. It was, uh, I, I don't think it looked unique, nor interesting, nor good at all. It was just a dude running from a ton of zombies. Yeah. It may be a fun game, but the demo, I don't, I don't, I don't think it was the right. It the conference was just so hype, 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 and I think it closed on a down yeah. for me. And uh, I did mention to you that I thought it was like Days Gone was a, a like a lie, like a dud, 
yeah. and that they were gonna end up that demo with it. Yeah, here's this gun, and two. oh, it's not this gun. Yeah. It's Last of Us Two or something like that. Yeah, something like that. I was expecting that surprise, and indeed, the surprise never came. I, I didn't see anything that made it unique or interesting to me at yeah. all. And I think that also puts some uh, truth to the rumor that they intended to close with Red Dead Redemption Two. Right. But you did they... mention something to me about that. Yeah, so there was a rumor that Sony actually was uh, they they were gonna close the conference with Red Dead Redemption Two. Yes, and with a demo, with a live gameplay demo. But on that demo, there was a scene where they were in a salon, in a bar. Yeah, and people and someone enter in, in ran through the salon and started shooting. Yeah, so because of what the tragedy that just happened at Orlando. Yeah, at a bar, at a nightclub. I mean. They, yeah, it, it, it was a bit sensitive to do that, yeah. so mm -hmm. it was a bit wrong in a sense. So they had to cut that at the last moment and put this instead. Right. It makes sense because it didn't look, it it this demo didn't look like it was intended to be there at that moment, and also having a game shown and then shown again on the conference right. for it's Sony. Odd. It's odd. So mm -hmm. yeah, that could be that could be it could be very true. I mean it's it's all rumors, right? Mm -hmm. I mean we, right. we don't Absolutely. know if that's the case. And it's not unprecedented. I mean Bethesda did the same thing with Dishonored. Yeah. Uh but yeah it's a not thing to show mm -hmm. a game that not many people people would be I right. mean Dishonored had its hype and mm -hmm. Days Gone was just announced. So I Absolutely. mean it, it made little to no sense. And but yeah, I mean, it's likely if if that's the scenario. But be, being fair, being fair with Sony and uh, and the studio Sony band, the game it, looks good. I mean, it's it's we haven't seen anything, so let's right. wait and see. Maybe maybe yeah. it's a masterpiece in the making, yeah. right? So Could let's be. wait and see. Let's wait and see. Yeah.